So we got one more to go. Uh, our, our final story in this road reflection, the first road reflection of 2020, thank you for tuning into it, uh, is uh, it comes from Kentucky. Uh, the Democratic uh, governor, uh, Governor Brashear of Kentucky, is uh, restoring rights to felons. Holy shit. Uh, amazing. Amazing. That, uh, so let's, let's dive into this. Let's unpack it, right? So he says that my faith teaches me to treat others with dignity and respect. Oh my God, another religious person that actually is doing something that the philosophy fucking preaches is to, to treat each other with dignity and respect. Holy shit. When do you fucking see that, right? Like, usually it's, don't trust the Jews or the Muslims, the Hindus, your pagans, and they're gonna come and eat your Christian heart. (laughs) Fucking crazy shit like that. So, Governor Bashir wants to uh, to, uh, restore the uh, voting rights to... Uh, ex-cons, felons, people that the people that serve time in prison, hundred thousand people with convictions will now be able to uh, vote in Kentucky. Hundred thousand more people. Uh, Florida, Florida did this with Amendment Four uh, last year. Amendment Four passed uh, by the people, will of the people. People voted for it, um, and Florida passed it, which meant that a lot of uh, ex-cons, felons were going to be able to vote in the 2020 election, both in the primaries and in the generals, uh, should they choose to register to vote. And here's the thing. He, he kind of just made the statement last month, right? Um, I don't, I don't, as far as I know, uh, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm, if, if you have uh, any sort of information about it, I know I have some, uh, Kentucky, uh, fans and friends, that, that watch this stuff. So if, if you have more information about it, uh, leave a comment, put a link down there or something. Um, but uh, he really hasn't come up with a full plan about it. He just kind of said that this is going to happen. Um, and there's always concerns from people when, they, when this sort of shit happens, right? There's always concerns that uh, the right wing kind of gets crazy. And both Florida and Kentucky are both, like, red states, technically. Um, and they always have concerns, like, oh, man, do these, do, do these people have, have the, 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 the moral fortitude to, to, to vote the right way? Oh, you mean vote for people that didn't put them in prison for nonviolent offenses? And then torture them while they were in prison? You mean they're gonna vote? Against, they're gonna vote against. They're gonna vote against those people. Maybe they'll vote bluer. Maybe they'll vote for a fucking progressive. Holy shit! That's the fear, right? Like the Republicans are gonna lose control of these like traditionally red states. And they and they and they basically make the claim like when Amendment Four passed. There were some people that were coming out and being like, oh, well, they're just trying to get more votes for the Democrats. They're just trying to get more votes for the Democrats. Uh, fun fact, in California, Kamal Harris was in the pocket of the prison industrial complex, and she was a fucking Democrat. So uh, it doesn't matter, and you don't know how they're going to vote. Some of these ex-cons might still be Republicans. Some of these ex-cons might be progressives. They might be, they might figure out what the DSA is or the Green Party or Libertarians. Some of them might become constitutionalists. Who knows? You can't make that claim. And that, and and making a claim like, oh, if you're an ex-con or an ex-felon, you're going to, you're going to vote Democratic and this is just the Democratic Party trying to control the elections or whatever. It's a flimsy fucking excuse. It's a flimsy way of making that argument. Also, it just kind of jams in that binary, right? Like, like you, you have to either be a Democrat or a Republican. You can't be fucking anything else. Like, they can't, they, who know, what, what, maybe these ex-cons come out and they go, you know what, the Black Panther Party fucking has some shit right. The Black Panther Party seems to have my interest. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fucking hang out with them and see who, who, who they, who they think is a good candidate. Doubtful that it's gonna be any of the fucking neoliberals. Doubtful that it's going to be any of the neocons or Trump. What's happening in Florida now, 
uh, is that they are uh, they're coming down on Amendment Four. They're 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 trying to restrict Amendment Four, um, and and they're they're going through some voter suppression shit uh, because they uh, <laughs> they're basically putting a poll tax on on felons and ex-cons that want to register to vote. So if you register to vote as a felon and ex-con in Florida, which you can, and you want to exercise your right to vote. Uh, they basically have a, a, a fee or, or, or some kind of poll tax that they want, right? Look, here's the thing. The citizens voted to have these people, to restore these people's right to vote. That's what the citizens of Florida did. So to come out and now strong arm some bullshit fees and laws and all this crap goes against the will of the people. So not only are you against uh, felons and ex-cons voting, you're also against people exercising, like just average fucking citizens exercising their right to vote in Florida. Basically, what they want you to do is pay a bunch of court fees um, and, uh, and, and all of like your court charges and all this other shit uh, before you can vote in Florida, which is bullshit. Because a lot of these court fees and stuff are like over the top. They're astronomical. When they when when prisoners come out of prison, they don't have a lot of money. It's not like they're fucking making money in prison. They're getting paid next to fucking nothing in there. And they come out. They don't really have all that much. And they have to figure out how to get a job and all this other shit. And then now on top of that, if they want to exercise their right to vote as a citizen of the state of Florida or the state of Kentucky or just in America which they should be able to do now they have to shell out even more money the ACLU who's suing the state of Florida for trying to do this shit uh, basically come out came out and said that there should be no price tag to vote and there shouldn't be a price tag to vote as a constitutional right these people are violating the United States Constitution. The dong of America is going against the rest of the country. And realistically, that's kind of what dongs do, don't they? Just sometimes sometimes dicks just lead you down the wrong path, you know? Like when you think with your dick. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes when you think with your dick, it's awesome, you know? And it leads to like really good times. And you have a ball and you're like, oh boy, that was fun. Thank you, thank you, Dick. You you did great. And then sometimes it's just like, oh no, my dick led me down a very dark path for a hundred and twenty-eight years. <laughs> and that's what they're doing, right? Like, like, like finally the dong of America made a good decision. And then it's like, nah. How do we get syphilis? <laughs> Eighty-two percent of the people have court fees uh, after they after they get released out of prison. Eighty-two percent. It's an astronomical amount of people that have to pay court fees after they've served their time in prison. It's fucking outrageous. And the thing is, um, so there, there's a lot of activists on the ground in Florida going through this thing, right? And uh, and they go and go door to door and talk to these people talk to the ex-cons and felons and stuff right and they uh, these these folks don't know like they have no idea about amendment 4 they're not educated about it you, you should be telling people that in prison right now in Florida right now in Florida the, all the guards should be going and fucking like you should be slipping pamphlets under the cells to be like, hey, when you get out, you get to vote. You get to exercise your right and actually be a part of the society. Kind of like the point of what prison should fucking be is to help you figure out how to be a part of society again. Rehabilitation, education. So that's the fight in Kentucky right now. The fight in Kentucky is going to be uh, to make sure that this shit stinks. Because, so, so you know, if, if I was Governor Brashear, I would be looking at what's going on in Florida, uh, taking note of it, um, talking to the activists in Florida, um, and possibly trying to talk to some activists in Kentucky 
uh, and building like a coalition of sorts so that, you know, when there come, when the opposition comes, because it'll come, when the, the ideas like this don't, you know, don't crop up without opposition. There, there's going to be opposition. Be sure of that. Um, they will now know what to do. They will have uh, a, a coalition to make sure that this shit sticks, to make sure that, that felons and ex-cons know these 100,000 people that are going to have their rights restored, they all know that their rights are going to be restored and know where to go to register to vote if they, if they choose to do so. That sort of shit scares the elites and the government, you know? When that many people come out and support something like this, that's what happened in Florida, right? People voted, people voted for this. Amendment 4 was voted in by, by the people as a ballot initiative, uh, and that scares the shit out of the elites. They've been using fear tactics against us for, I mean, forever, right? That's, that's sort of... That's sort of the means of exploitation is fear tactics with the elites. Tom, we started scaring them back. Hey folks, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. Uh, please share it around because content like this doesn't really get shared around all that often because of the topics that I'm talking about. Uh, and if you enjoyed these videos, you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy as well. Uh, I talk a lot about the similar topics, similar stories, um, address a lot of issues and philosophy in my stand-up. Uh, so I'm going to be on tour all across the country this year uh, working uh, on, on my new show. Uh, so if you are in New York City, uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, Portland, Maine... Burlington, Vermont, Middlebury, Vermont, uh, Bridgewater, Vermont. I'm going to be coming to your city in the next few weeks. You can go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Grab your tickets, RSVP to these events, and come hang out with me. Uh, while you're on my website, you can also become a patron to help content like this uh, and become a, a, a pretty much a people sponsor of the show. Uh, go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha uh, to check out all the tiers and the rewards and uh, all the fun stuff that you'd be supporting. Uh, and my website's going to be updated soon to include a bunch of uh, alternative sustaining membership options as well. But again, if you want to come see me live, you can check out all of my tour dates because I'll be touring all across the country this year uh, at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R A M A N noodlescomedy.com. Thanks so much for checking out this video and we'll see you on the road.